Hey everyone, I'm going to do a tutorial, I mean, not a tutorial, a um, review on the crazy light and the rain balloon. Okay, so first, the rain balloon. First, I'm going to tell you that the rubber bands are both almost the same. They're like stretchy and everything. Um, but the rain balloon has C-clips that looks like that. And the rain balloon's um, hook would look like this. This has like a little mini room. This is the hook. And this is the rain balloon's back, you know, the base removal. Remover. This is a main, uh, mini rain balloon and I really recommend it for you guys um, if you're a beginner. But yeah, so the rain balloon. The rain balloon looks like this of course, but it's much smaller than the crazy loom. But there's always one thing special about all the looms. This loom can like, you can take it apart, you can take these rows apart. Just and as you can see, you could take it apart. So, yeah, that's like what the rain balloon is. But when I use it, sometimes the endings do kind of bend. Like, yeah. So, that's the only bad part about the rain balloon. But everything else is amazing. And one, one more thing that's bad about the rain balloon is that it's like smaller than the crazy loom. It's much smaller than the crazy loom. But the crazy loom, although it's super big, I'll show you right here. As you can see, that's bigger. But the bad thing about this loom is that you can't really, it's a solid piece, you can't really take it out, and you can't make some of the, um, rain, some of the things you can make with the rain balloon, like the hexafish, you can't make it, you really can't, I tried a lot, you really can't, and this is how the hook would look like. It's like this, and then the back is like this. Nothing special about it, it's just a hook. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually just, if you have another rain balloon, just, you just put it on, like, just do that. Same thing with this one, just like put it, just like put it on like that. You don't have to like take the base off and everything to like attach two looms to it. So, yeah, that's the good part about the um, crazy loom. I do recommend, if you're a beginner, I do recommend you getting this loom before getting the rainbow loom. Because when I was new, I did get this one. It was really helpful. And these are the clips for the crazy loom. It's an S-clip. They're called S-clips and because they look like S. The bad thing about these is that you would, you can only like put one loop of rubber band on. You can never put two loops. So, and you can put on this one, you could put as many you want. So, yeah, that's also the bad part. So, but yeah, if you're a beginner and you want a loom, get this one. And of course, this one was one dollar cheaper at um, at Target or Toys R Us, same price, but just one dollar. So, like, but so yeah, it, this was like fifteen ninety nine, and this and this was like sixteen ninety nine at Michaels. This I got from Target. If you want a purple one, you get it from Toys R Us. But yeah, that's the only bad. That's the review. Yeah, so I hope you get one for yourself and have a great day.